lovelies. So you might notice there is quite a large box to me and you can't actually see exactly how large it is. Oh my God. Oh, oh, okay. I mean, it, <laughs> wait, like this? No, I still, I actually, I actually, oh, you can kind of see. It's a big box anyway. And this is a shiny, magical surprise box from Japan. So I'm gonna open this. So this has actually come from Samurai Buyer. If you watched my Japan vlog, so far there's only one. There will be another one soon, I'm editing it. It's, <laughs> the reason that I haven't been is just because they're such difficult videos to edit because especially the second day in Japan because the night before I couldn't charge my camera, we just didn't have enough outlets. Uh, so my camera died halfway through the day, so then some of the footage is on my camera, some of the footage is on my phone, some of the footage is on Jake's camera. So I have to try to organize all of that to where it should be. I make it into a vlog and then there's so much footage because I filmed everything that I have to try to make it shorter and then I have to film my talky bit once that's done and edit it and it's even longer. That's why I've been putting it off, but I'm going to get to it. But I mentioned in that that the trip um, was like, with that trip, Samurai Buyer helped like hook us up with like travel people and stuff and they were involved in like, you know, all the helping us get there and they have sent me a box. So, uh, yes, I do have scissors. Okay. I don't know what the best way to get into this would be. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'm gonna pop this just next to me here. Come back down. I'm just gonna start grabbing. So, I'm so excited! Right, okay. Before I show you what's in here, leave, like, and don't cheat because then it's not fun. What's the point? Leave a comment with what you think it might be below. So pause the video, leave a comment what you think might be in this box. And then like afterwards, if you're right or wrong, you can comment under your comment being like, I was right or I was wrong. But yeah, don't cheat because otherwise like, what's the point, but yeah. So, okay, first thing, can you guess? Oh my God. <gasps> Gloomy bear arm. Oh, oh my god, I love it. Just get the hair on him. <laughs> okay, so that's thing number one. Okay, 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 I can go there. Thing number two is this little gloomy bear, and he's like a sheep. He's like a little, oh my god, look how fluffy he is. Oh, he has kind of brown eyes almost. That's weird. And he has the little blood and the little claws. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a button. There's buttons. Do they have a reason or are they just decoration? He has like little buttons on his shoulders. I don't know if there's a reason for that or, ooh, what, but look at him. <laughs> okay. I still don't have anywhere to put my gloomy bears and I'm like, <laughs> this is bad. Once I have my attic, I'm gonna have like a whole corner for them. It's gonna be like the plushy slash gloomy bear corner. It's gonna be great, but right now. Do, do, do. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> it's just a little gloomy. He's just like one of the little standard like gloomy bear. And he has his little claws. He has like a little blood splat on his chest, little blood here. I love gloomy bear stuff so much and it's so hard to get in the UK. Like up until this point, like he'll always ask me where I get my gloomy bears. Um, so samurai buyer. But up until this point, like I could only ever get my gloomy bear stuff whenever I went to like anime slash gaming conventions. Cause there's usually this like, I think it's always the same guys and they travel around all the conventions and they have like loads of cute like Japanese plushies and they have gloomy bears. So I always get one whenever I go to a convention, but no, I've never had like gloomy bear overload. I only ever get one at a time and now it's like, ah, <laughs> oh, I didn't even realize this little gloomy, the sheepy one, hit, like the blood on his is actually like pink. So it's more like he's been eating like strawberry milkshake or something. But, oh, we have a big gloomy. Oh, he could just sit on my shoulder. Kinda. Wait. Ah! <laughs> so we have a big gloomy and he's kind of sitting. So he could definitely sit on the edge of something. And look at his little. It's so. Cute, look at his little blood splatters and his little fist. Oh my God, I am having the best time right now. Oh my goodness gracious me. Oh, I'm sorry, everyone's being knocked. Okay. 
Got some stuff to go. Ah, my arm. Ooh! <laughs> oh, Samurai Buyer made me a very happy girl. <gasps> okay. Oh, yes. So this is like a really big like keychain type thing. I'll probably put this on my pink bag. You know my super pink bag that's covered in like everything I can put on it? This can go on there because I actually have two gloomy bears attached to that bag. Do I have two? Yes, I do have two. And now this can like go on the other side of something like a little gloomy bear arm. So yeah, it's like a cool gloomy arm. Like, and it has one of these, um, what are these called? It was like carabiner or something? <laughs> Am I like completely making that up? But yeah. <gasps> I got hiccups. Okay. <laughs> Can't reach the bottom of the box. Oh, oh, this one's heavy. Oh, he's a strange looking one. He's like long gloomy bear. So this one's really heavy for some reason. Uh, he doesn't have any blood, but his claws are like extra long. And like his face. It, like hold on like if you compare these guys see he's like a different shape gloomy bear he's like weird like this is gonna sound really weird but like if i were to assume normal gloomy bear is like a grizzly bear this one reminds me of like a sun bear or something for some reason i don't know why but yeah he's strange like i, I like him yeah long strange gloomy and yeah he's just like so heavy i don't know why <laughs> what an odd fella okay what is this Oh, I think this must have come in like a multi-pack because generally I only really collect the pink gloomy bears But I think there might have been like a listing with more than one thing in it And it must have been this like little minty gloomy bear pillow So I will definitely put that somewhere in the cute side of my attic whenever it's all up and running Like I said, usually I will only ever collect the pink ones, but make an exception for this little blue guy here So yeah, that will have to find a place because it's a nice little cushion yeah, okay. Uh -huh. Oh! Okay, these quiver we've got woo in here is the last step. So. Ah! Ah! Okay, so we've got. Ooh! Oh! This is like. I have something like this, but in a different, like, position. It is another little uh, gloomy bear, like, zippy pouch. Because I have one that's more like. Like, as if he's lying on his front, if you get what I mean. Um, and that is attached to my bag and I put my business card holder in there. Ooh. So I've got another one of the- <laughs> my bag's just gonna be covered in gloomy bears. I might put- because he does have like a little hook and it would feel like a waste not to like attach him on somewhere. So yeah, we've got another little gloomy bear pouch. Can I just do this every month? Like just a giant box of gloomy bear stuff like once a month. God, can you imagine my house? Uh, oh cute! An another one! Okay, so this is the another one and again, it's kind of like the one I have, except the one I like is attached, or the one I have, like the one I have, is attached like up here. But this one, it's like his little foot's caught in a bear trap, which is actually kind of sad. But yeah, it's like a little, it's like he's caught in a little bear trap. And then again, zippy pouch, so you can put things in there. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's all so cute. Uh, oh, we have this little guy. He's like, he's not a sheep, but he's like, Definitely got some longer hair than your average gloomy and he's very soft. He's like a beanie baby as well. He's like a fuzzy little gloomy bear. Uh, oh my god, another gloomy bear arm. I didn't, I've somehow ended up with two of the same one because I, I, like, I sent like a whole bunch of listings to them. Like these are the things I like and they seem to have just sent all of it. So, um, so yeah, now I actually have two of these. It's a shame they're kind of like shipped for a specific arm, otherwise I can have one for each arm. But uh, yeah, I could do like a cool setup though, I'm sure. Okay. And then, oh, this is kind of like the weird long gloomy. It's made of, because it's like, they're a different material than the others. And it's made of that same stuff. And again, it has these giant, like huge claws. So yeah, like an itty bitty little gloomy, like, Whenever I finally get everything set up, I might like set this one on my desk or something because he's just so little. <sighs> I'm sad that it's over. Oh my god. It's just like my drugs. Like I, f I feel like this must be like how other people feel whenever they get hooked on like drugs or something. Just like pulling gloomy bear stuff out of a box. That is what I'm hooked on now. So. <sighs> So yes, again, this is all from Samurai Buyer. Um, I think I explained a little bit like what, what they are in the Japan vlog video, but again, to explain, it's basically 
um, like a service that will ship you stuff from Japan. So if you find things on like Japanese websites that don't ship outside of Japan, you can place an order with Samurai Buyer. They'll, you know, get all the stuff, even if it's like a whole bunch of different shops, they'll have it all like, you know, shipped to the, I assume. I don't know the exact process, so if I'm wrong, but you can look on their website and like find out for sure if I'm talking crap, but it's something like this. Um, but yeah, and they will, you know, gather the stuff that you want and then they'll ship it out to you in one giant box. Um, so yeah, that is how I got all this gluing bear stuff. And it also works because like a lot of this um, gluing bear stuff is like older stuff that was secondhand because it like things like um, basically like eBay and stuff, you know, like secondhand websites that are in Japan, you can get stuff off of there. So like a lot of this I know was like priced really low because it's all like old secondhand gloomy bear stuff which like people don't don't even know the treasure that they were getting rid of but uh yeah so like you can find like for instance like old lolita dresses and stuff maybe that like aren't being made anymore you might be able to find something like that floating around like you know like a japanese auction website samurai buyer can get that to you so yeah it's basically that so Thank you to them. Thank you for Masaki. Thank you to Masaki for sending this out. He's one of the people we got to meet um, on the first night that we went here when we went out for dinner before our big old Japan trip, and uh, he was the one that put together this box for me. And I'm just so happy. <laughs> oh no, the piercings. Okay, mountain of gloomy. I'm so happy. So yeah, that was my giant gloomy bear samurai buyer unboxing. I just, I need more. That like that was so like that was thrilling. <laughs> Um, I very much enjoyed myself. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope all my like screaming and squawking wasn't too annoying But you know what even if it was I don't care because I have a mountain of gloomy bear So you can be annoyed all you want I'm just gonna roll around in my gloomy bears and forget my problems See they say that money can't buy happiness, but money can buy gloomy bear stuff And I'm pretty sure that that's the same thing. So Okay, well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go and go so on the on the on the subject of my attic before I go um, because I'm still working on that. I, there's like this app basically, um, it's like a, it's like a walking app, it counts your steps and then like you can like earn points and stuff on it from walking if you get me. Uh, but every single person who signs up to that app using like my link, I have like, I think anyone can have a link, I have, it's not sponsored at all, they don't know who I am, I just have, I, you can get a link. Um, anyone who signs up using my link, I get points towards like earning money and I am currently saving up all of my points so that I can then like try to get like a big old bit of money from them um, to do up my attic. So that's really exciting. It's a long way off. I think I've got like, I think like 400 people have joined using my link so far. And I think I'm gonna need like 4,000 people to join to really like realistically get enough to like do any dent to the attic. So that's my goal. 4,000 people, if any of you are watching, because more than 4,000 people watch these videos, I'm just saying. So it's not like too crazy, but yeah, you can use the app if you want. I think it's pretty cool, but if you don't want to use it, you don't have to. But if you download it and sign up using my link, then I will maybe hopefully sometime this year finally sort out my attic and then I can have my gloomy bear corner and I can do better. I can do more craft videos, more DIY videos, more makeup videos. So I'm gonna set up like a specific easy way for me to record makeup, but can you imagine? So um, there's that. So but also before I go then, if this is your first time tuning in to this nutbags channel, um, maybe consider subscribing if you want to subject yourself to this more frequently. And if you do, you should hit the little bell next to the subscribe area so that you can get notifications for every time I, I upload my craziness for you to enjoy. And finally, super important, don't go, wait, 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 super important, uh, check out my Patreon because good god that supports this channel a lot. YouTube just keeps doing more and more and more and more to screw over its creators. Every video, I'm, I'm, I think there's been like one video in the past like three months that I have uploaded that hasn't immediately been demonetized. I get them re-monetized eventually, but it's days later when most of the views are gone anyway. Uh, so yeah, most of my videos get demonetized for literally no reason. YouTube won't do anything to fix it. So Patreon is super important. So there's a link in the description. You should check it out. Consider joining. I really want to try to, I think I'm at like, maybe like 125 patrons right now. And I want to try to get up to 250 patrons. I think that'd be really cool. Like 250 patron supporters, little family. Um, and then also if you join Patreon, you can join our private Discord chat for 
fun chats and conversations, so you should check that out. Okay, I've been talking for way too long, so I'm gonna go. I love you all very much. I love Gloomy very, very much. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!